Hey guys, before this video starts, I did just want to do a quick little message uh, to tell you guys about something coming up. Now you guys have seen me promote these guys on this channel quite often and it's because uh, they always just deliver the best service in the collector's community out here. Uh, they're just also really awesome people and uh, I think I, they deserve the promotion I want to give them. And that is to promote the upcoming July 23rd uh, Epic Toy Show hosted by our boys over at Polar Bear's Pop Culture Shop. Again, Saturday, July 23rd is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 9 a.m. to 9.45 is the early bird, which is $10. And then from that point, so 10 o'clock-ish till 3, it's only just $5 just to get in. It is over at the El Zariba Shrine Auditorium in Phoenix. Uh, I will definitely be there. Uh, we're going to have a table set up again, try to s clear off some uh, stuff and uh, as we make room for new stuff. But guys, there's going to be a ton of stuff there. Comic books, action figures, Funko Pops, Pokemon cards, you name it in the collectors or, you know, nerd community, it's probably going to be there. So definitely come out, check it out, attend Saturday, July 23rd. Hope to see you there. Come say hi and uh, let's get this video started. We have quite a bit of movies this week. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sunday. You know what that means. It's a uh, haul slash hunt video for today, this part of the weekend. So over this weekend, we went to three different locations that I found stuff at. And first time at one of them, never been to before. And then the other, I did a really good uh, haul. So we'll go through each of those. I do have a few hunt video here. So let's go through that real fast. And uh, we'll bring it back here. Well, well, before we go to that footage, let's uh, let's make sure you guys do a couple things. If you could please give it a thumbs up down below, greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy collectibles, uh, physical media reviews, that sort of stuff uh, on this channel, I think you'll like it. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit the bell as well so you're notified every time I go up a new video. And uh, all right, let's now we can go to the video. All right, so yeah, not a lot of hunt footage, but there's still something there. And uh, I'm gonna go and break down the smallest of this stack here, which was from one place, but it's more of just an upgrade video here. But we're gonna go through all these Blu-rays that I came across this uh, past weekend. First place we found some in that was Savers, and that was this Titanic uh, Limited Edition 3D Blu-ray. Uh, don't know how the, the 3D will this work on, I'm not sure if there's glasses or something like that that's supposed to come with it, or you just need the uh, the TV and the uh, oh, uh, Blu-ray player to make it work. But nevertheless, uh, it's an upgrade because I only have it on DVD, and uh, it was actually half price, so not $4.99, but uh, $2.50, so good deal there. Um, and then that same Saturday, uh, we went to a spot we don't go too often to because I just I strike out nine times out of 10 there a lot lately. And, um, but that wasn't the case this time. Uh, we have a sister store to the Savers out here. It's called Value Village. Uh, there's just two locations pretty close to each other in the Phoenix area. And there happened to just be this like hall of Blu-rays on their shelf. And I'm like, and they're behind the counter. So at least it's like not getting messed with or anything like that. But anyways, I was shocked to see how many here that was this alone, <laughs> uh, this entire stack was all from just Value Village. Uh, so somebody must have donated their collection or something like that or not because a lot of them are same uh, price tags from, uh, looks like these are, um, I'm pretty sure Barnes and Noble uh, price tags. So clearly somebody like just donated their almost the entire collection that they never even watched and um, works for me for collecting media. So we'll go through a couple of these. Uh, first one I don't actually own, so it's cool to finally grab it and that is Coming to America. Uh, this is just a classic uh, Eddie Murphy movie. And then the second one was actually very held its own too. It was pretty good on uh, Amazon. So I uh, found that one there. Uh, another one that I don't think I have this. If I did, it's only on DVD, but I don't think I even have it in general, but I thought it was a good movie. And that is The Bucket List with Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman. Just a good hearted movie. Uh, I mean, obviously it's kind of got a sad premise, but still uh, really good worth watch there. Uh, one that I've never seen before, but brand new. And it's a relatively recent film. 
uh, is the Magnificent Seven with like Denzel Washington and Chris Pratt. The uh, slip case is kind of haggard there, so I'll probably just toss it, but that's that's perfectly fine by me. And all these, I'm pretty sure, were around two, three dollars a piece, so brand new, not not a bad deal there. Uh, one movie I actually never seen before, but I'm curious to take a watch at it. I believe it's an older movie. Uh, it's from, yeah, 1994, Wyatt Earp. Uh, it's a Kevin Costner movie. I believe Dennis Quaid's in it. Yeah, Dennis Quaid, Gene Hackman. So, and again, that's kind of got that similar. So it's that Barnes & Noble 30% off sticker and that's their normal price sticker. So those are, you'll kind of start to notice those trend here. So, um, but yeah, that was another one there. Superman the movie, that was a nice little find there. So again, uh, classic movie. A good classic Stanley Kubrick film here, Full Metal Jacket. I surprisingly don't have this one, so. Just got to finally add, add that one to the collection because again, I'm trying to keep it to Blu-ray and Blu-ray only or if it's a movie that is going to be hard to find on Blu-ray um, or never even made it to Blu-ray, then it's uh, going to be something that I'm just going to purchase um, the way it is. So that was a great find there. Uh, one here that I wish I found like, I don't know, I think it was around last summer or so because of all the controversy and the, uh, the comps that it was going for on eBay was gone with the wind because they were removing these off of shelves because they just thought the premise and some of the background story to this movie was not with what should be in the world anymore um, which is kind of sad because this is a 70 80 year old movie you know what, what do you expect <laughs> anyway so gone with the wind very classic film uh so glad to have that one added to my collection i surprised don't have it if i do i might have a dvd and it was from, from my grandparents collection that i got inherited so but Nevertheless, good ad there. And then last but certainly not least, uh, a movie that was directed by Robert Zemeckis. Never even heard of this before. Michael Douglas is in it. It's called Romancing the Stone. I mean, it looks like a typical like rom-com adventure movie or something like that. I don't know. I just, again, this is kind of brand new. I was like, why not? Never heard of this, though. So that's what's great about these movies, you know? Never seen them before, and it's probably not going to be on streaming anywhere, so, because it's just an oddity movie, but looking forward to watching that one. All right, now fast forward to Sunday. So I got a tip from uh, some of our friends over at Polar Bear's Pop Culture Shop. I've plugged them on this channel multiple times in the past because they're just a great shop to uh, go and check out. Uh, they were referencing about the swap meets out here and more specifically the Glendale one at the drive-in. So me and my wife thought, you know what? Let's uh, go check it out. I think we got up 6 a.m. It opens, I think, at 6 or 7, and uh, got there by 7, 7.30-ish. And I thought, you know what? I'm going with low expectations. It was two bucks a person to get in, so it's not like it's an arm and a leg, but it was worth a chance, and it technically worked out. So um, I got a bunch of stuff. My wife got a bunch of stuff too. So um, in terms of her collections, I was hoping for those boots that you'd see where they're like, yeah, a dollar a piece or, you know, or four for a dollar, something crazy like that. I mean, it's a long shot, but you never know. Uh, wasn't the case, but it was still like two for, um, I think I had one that was like three for five. And then like another one was like two for five or something like that, or $3 each or two for five. So wasn't like I was still stretching out. There was a few people that, you know, are charging like $5 a piece and you're kind of like, okay, come on now. I can go get it brand new for $5 like at Walmart and stuff, these older movies. So uh, wasn't the case. So I'm satisfied with stuff I got here because it's a kind of few upgrades, stuff I don't own. And um, yeah, we'll just go through it. So the first one uh, was uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vinny Jones, a very underrated film, but it is what it is. <laughs> it's uh, The Condemned. So got this movie that's one thing is some of the i mean this is fine this was not too bad but some boots i was concerned because they would sell when you get these swap me type situations they're going to be literally like just keeping these in boxes and bins and they get like water damaged or whatever maybe so i i was well, i was finding a lot of that there so i wasn't finding too much uh versus the people that i watch on youtube that are out like in california and stuff they find the good stuff out there. So, but it was our first time. It wasn't a bad time. So we'll definitely probably go back and maybe we'll get lucky another round and uh, find even more. So next one, uh, I realized I didn't have my collection surprise from the thrifting days now and then I haven't found. Uh, Captain Phillips with Tom Hanks. Great movie. So good ad there. Uh, more recent one. I think this is the second to most recent. Uh, yeah, uh, third. 2016 so i might be two or three behind but i want to start collecting all the purge movies so got this is the first one i purchased so far 
but I'll keep an eye out on all the other ones. I think there's four or five now or something like that. So I don't know, I like the premise of the purge. I never saw, I saw the first one. I loved it. And uh, I think that was like actually the Netflix discs that I watched that from. And then I uh, haven't seen all the other ones. So, but I like the premise. So I know they're not like great horror movies, like, you know, oh my God, amazing. But I, I that's not the point of horror movies. I feel like they, they got, they're going to be bad ones. And that's what's the point of them. A couple of Disney films here I got uh, Incredibles 2. That's a sequel to Incredibles Derp. So, but picked up that bad boy there. It's a nice slip cover and uh, it's got a little shine to it. It's pretty cool. Uh, one that I never watched, so I'm hoping it's a good one, is uh, Christopher Robin with Ewan McGregor. Looks like a pretty cool little movie. I mean, I don't know if it's great, but, you know, why not? And then the last two uh, were upgrades uh, to my collection. Uh, first one is this two pack for Ghostbusters one and two, and it's kind of or the top this thing was a little broken there, so it pops out pretty easily, but it still stays in pretty good, so we're good there. And the discs are fine, uh, but it's got this nice like little booklet inside here. It's pretty cool. It looks like on each of the actors, so it's nice little collector's edition version. Last but certainly not least, so I was trying and trying since I started doing all these Blu-ray hunts to upgrade my matrix movies to blu-ray through thrifting um because i find the dvds all over the place so i'm not really struggling trying to find dvds but i wanted to get them on blu-ray so i found the first one on blu-ray but i cannot find two and three you know on blu-ray at all so i finally found this four pack i'm, I'm not a big fan of these four packs but i guess it's gonna shave, save self yeah bleh. it'll save some shelf space but um yeah it's the four pack of the matrix movies uh, it's also got the uh, animatrix film there that little extra movie that they made the animation film it is i know the second third ones aren't the most favorited and then this recent one i hear is not the greatest but i my ocd of wanting to watch all them through uh before i watch the fourth one i just kind of have to do that so i finally found that so now i can go through them and watch the fourth one i think it should be back on uh hbo max if not then who knows anyways guys that is this week's haul so i would say it is uh <laughs> pretty good uh, i'm gonna get these bad boys scanned in here we'll have an updated uh count for you here at the end hope you guys enjoy that little bit i add and uh until next weekend hope you guys have a fantastic day thank you for watching always and see ya